Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to continue our Dark Souls Remastered run. Um, I should have just got my third kill here. Um, I decided to do it off recording because I didn't know how long it was going to take because the last video was an hour. So, um, I'm going to go show you guys our little our thing we're going to get here. Uh, we're probably going to leave it on semi-permanently because it's really nice to have. Talk to Alvina. There it is. Ring of Fog. So we'll put this guy on. It's just like the cat's covenant ring. And as you can see now, I'm now translucent. So it makes me uh, pull aggro a little bit less and no one can target me in PvP, which is really nice. Um, we're going to switch out of the Forest Hunter's Covenant back to the Way of the White. Because we now don't need to do this anymore. And we might want to come back and farm these guys eventually. Not right now. Um, I have something that I want to do. I was going to do it off recording. But. White. Oh and speaking of. That thing right there. The, the covenant switching. That was something that was added in with the remaster. In the original Dark Souls. If you had the prepare to die edition. Uh, you had to go back to Oswald every time you wanted to change covenants, but they added that into the bonfire as part of the remaster Which is really nice. There was a few quality of life upgrades. And that was one of them and it's it's way nicer So I'm gonna try to save these souls for now And not use them And we also have the poison bite ring which I'm probably gonna put on here pretty soon. Oh, I'll hit me first. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh well, I don't know what that was. Oh well. Let's do this. Yeah, man, I love this baton. It's so much nicer. Um, so we're gonna go back down to Blight Town. I'm going to plus ten my weapon. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so um, there's two things we need to do to plus 10 our weapon. Um, it's something I wanted. I didn't. I kind of don't want to do it for the video because I don't want to make it too easy. But at the same time, I want to show you guys that if you do get stuck and you're, you know, you're doing a dexter strength build and you need that little extra um, to get you by, uh, there is a way to plus 10 your weapon early. Uh, plus 15 is the highest you can go if you're doing um, just the normal build path. So, uh, I kind of wanted to do that, but it requires uh, getting an ember, the, the large ember, in the depths, which is where we need to go next anyways. And then it also requires having nine uh, large Titanite shards, which you farm in Blight Town. So, um, I think I'm going to go to Blight Town first. I'm going to fight these guys real quick. Two shots for that guy. He stabbed me, but that's fine. One shot for that. Alright, yeah, I think we can heal, that's fine. And off we go. Um, but it, it makes your life significantly better if you plus 10 it, because it... it it increases the scaling. It feels like every like plus five ish, you go up a level of scaling. I think the Ujiri Pan goes up to like A. It's not an S weapon. Um, those are kind of rare, but A is still amazing, and it means that you know the more points that we dump into um, a dex, just the harder our weapon scales, which is amazing. So I think we're gonna go down first, because that's the worst part honestly that's the hardest part to deal with and we're gonna i'm gonna show you guys how to farm oh see there's like he finally showed up uh so most people will kill this guy right now i'm not gonna tell you why we're gonna let him go and do his thing and you'll find out but uh he drops the ring of favor protection which is one of the best rings in the game 
That's usually why people kill him. Um, we're probably gonna use that ring, just not right now. So we're gonna have to pull this because we homework boned out. We're not gonna build a homework bone out again because we're gonna have to hit that bonfire, but it's okay. So we have to do this till we get nine uh, large shards. Uh, you can buy those from a, another blacksmith later on we're gonna get to, but that's like quite a ways away uh, to the point where it, it, it's would be detrimental to us if we don't uh, do it sooner than that. So either way, we're probably gonna have to do this anyways. So I guess we should just do it now. I know they drop from certain things too, I think, but I think this is the earliest we can get them. So back to Blight Town. Uh, this is going to be a little bit rougher because uh, the Uchikotana's range is not as good as the Halberd, so. Alright, cool. We pulled one of them. So it's going to be a little bit uh, harder to do this. Uh, that was okay. Ooh, ow. Heal. Well, maybe I can just circle strike them. Because usually I just poke at them, but... Oh, another dunk pie. They don't always drop those. But it's a pretty high rate. Um, ooh. That was a pretty big swing there. Oh, I backed at them. Oh, what do you know? Well, maybe that's easier then. Might be better just to do that. I need him to get away from that wall. Get away from the wall, come on. There we go. Easy peasy. More dunk pies that we're probably not gonna use. I'm pretty sure those are for PvP. I don't know what else you'd want to do that for, because it puts Toxic on things, but it also puts Toxic on you, so I feel like you'd really want to... I feel like Toxic on another player would be, like, really OP. Whereas Toxic on just normal enemies, because you fight so many of them, would just kind of be useless. Okay, so I can kill that guy one, one stamina bar now, which is kind of nice. Um, this should help. The Ring of Fog should help us not aggro as many things, I'm hoping. Especially those guys over there that uh, are shooting the blow darts at me. Those guys right there. Nope. Um, those guys suck because... Uh, I'm going to stab this guy. Oh, no. You... Ugh, and he's stuck there. So anyways, uh, those pygmy guys, I think they're pygmies, um, they have sacks on their heads and they have blow darts. Uh, those darts do toxic. Uh, if they hit your shield, they will, I don't know, it takes about four shots to, to put it on you. Uh, if they hit you without your shield, it is pretty much instant. Um, and toxic sucks. It will burn through your health like crazy. I burn through all ten of my... Essence flash charges trying to heal through it once. It's it's rough. Like honestly, it really really sucks. Um, so you want to watch out for those guys, but uh, they don't respawn. So once you kill them once, they never come back, which is really really nice. 
So if you look down there, we notice Shiva the East is not there anymore because we're not in the Covenant. If we join the Covenant, he'll be back there again. Okay, so for this, we want to kill this guy. Okay, so this is the one we're going to want to put on our ring. Our poison by ring. So this lake right here, this is poison. This whole thing is poison. All of it. Um, the poison bite ring extends the bar that needs to fill up for us to be poisoned. So uh, we'll get poisoned slower. And that's kind of the whole point of it. Is it lets us last a little bit longer. The other thing that would be nice, uh, there's a ring that lets you run in this deep water. Uh, that would be nice to have right now, but we don't have it, so... Okay, there's the bonfire. We're gonna light this guy. We're gonna rest at it because we're gonna have to. We're gonna be making a few runs and if we die. We don't want to go all the way back to the firelink shrine. That would absolutely suck. Uh, we'll go back here real quick and I'll show you guys this. This is not a big deal, but um, look at the chains curving away from us. Keep an eye on that. I keep bringing that up. This is a dragon scale. So there is a. Uh, there are dragon weapons and you level them up with dragon scales. Um, usually those type of weapons are just plus five. Um, there's also Covenant, where if you, you can invade people who have dragon scales, if you kill them, you get the scale. Uh, and that's people who, who use dragon weapons will do that. Uh, dragon weapons, from what I know, are terrible and they suck. Um, so you aren't supposed to do that, but I guess you could. Okay, we're gonna get poisoned and that's fine. We're not worried about it. What we want to do is just run. We want to run. Get through this. Okay, so what we're looking for are these slugs over here. There's these golden slugs, and I should have put this this on my bar. So I can pop one. I probably shouldn't pop those, but... Anyways, we're looking for these guys. These guys drop two things. They drop large shards... And they also drop um, green Titanite shards. So if you wanted to do a uh, a magic build, like a, if you're doing a sorcery build, um, you would want to farm these green shards. And what sucks too is that you can't... Um, you can't really see, like, the glow of when, when someone has an item on them. Like, when there's an item drop, is small enough that it fits inside their body. So sometimes you can't see that they have um, items. Okay, so I'm going to just deal with this and heal through it. Oh, he did a leap. Ouch. Now I got to heal. Get another one. Oh my god, really? I, that just happened. Okay, so he has nothing. We can do a leap as well. He has nothing, and he has nothing. Okay. And off we go. Um, the drop rate on these guys is really crappy. There is a ring we can get that will increase the drop, uh, drop rate, but um, we don't have it yet. So we're just going to deal with it. Like I said, we need nine. Uh, they drop. And I want to say they drop in packs of four. But uh, I don't remember. The No. Don't want leaps. I can't remember. I want to say they drop in packs of four, but they may not. It may be just one. I, one of them, either the green, up oh, there we go. Oh, it's just one, okay. The green ones drop in packs of four then. Um, but the large ones are uh, more common. Oh, and I died. And that's exactly why I wanted to... Uh, rest at that bonfire, because I would be in the final shirt right now and I'd be upset. Okay, we're going to try not to use those... Those um that poison moss if I can help it because we're gonna run out if we do that so and 
And there's not really any way to avoid uh, getting poisoned here, so... Alright, so we're going to try it again. Um, I'm probably going to pause the recording once I do a full rotation so you guys can see what a full rotation is. Okay, so nothing and nothing. Um, especially because these this can take a long time. I've done this for hours before, just trying to get what I needed. Five, uh, Estus, um, I want to keep saying charge, uh, charges is usually enough to get you through this. So, because we're going to run out anyways, but it's usually enough, as long as you don't take too much damage. Another one, that's two, I need seven more. Thing. That's still pretty good though, so. No, you. Ugh. Targeting. Stop. So, yeah, two in, in two runs right now is actually pretty good. There's three. God, targeting stop. Make sure none of these guys have anything. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, I almost want to heal again, but I'm going to wait. Okay, nothing. Heal again. Really? I was blocking too. My targeting is what sent me sideways, so. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. Okay, so. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That is a, a server. Oh, oh, my poison ran out. That sucks. I didn't realize. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we got like three more to kill, and then we are done with this run. So, um, if I have to, I will go back and farm more uh, purple moss. Not terribly worried about that. So, I usually kill these three guys, and I call it. guy I need to heal Let's see nothing from that guy and nothing from that guy okay so you can see there's some more right there I think there's some more on the corner over there too um, I don't go all the way over there because it would burn through my stuff too much. Um, so we're going to call this. We're going to run back to the uh, bonfire. Now I'm trying to take any more damage. And that's the run. And you do that over and over and over until you get nine. We got three on the first right so far. One was from a chest. Um, so two and two runs, which is actually not bad. But if I only took nine runs, that would not be a very long time. I would be okay with that. Um, and as long as you don't run out of uh, healing charges, then not so bad. Yeah, there is a ring I wish I had right now, but uh, it lets you run in this stuff. Oh. 
But um, it's a little out of our reach. We would actually need to finish this to be able to get the ring because we wouldn't have the the offense to do this. Okay, press the bonfire. That gets rid of all our stuff. That's the other reason I don't like to, to use anything because this gets rid of the poison and uh, heals us. So if you can uh, not go through all your healing and not use any of your... Um, Your purple moss, the the bonfire gets it for you. Okay, so we need to keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. All right, we'll do one more run. I forgot to pause the video. We'll do one more run, and then we'll pause the video. That guy... So, no and no. Okay. Off we go. Hurry, 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 because we were taking damage. So, I want to show you guys the next section, too, on this video of what we need to do. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, there's that. Heal. I don't want to have to heal, but... I have to. Okay, so nothing and nothing. Okay, and nothing. Okay, cool. Keep moving. Well, not cool. We want drops, but like I said, there's a better way to do this. Also, uh, I brought up the humanity earlier. Um, how, how the soft counter and everything works. Uh, if you have, um, well, humanity, like soft humanity will also increase your drop rate as well, um, up to 10 humanity. I don't know how much of a drop rate gives you, but I, I, that is on the wiki. I just don't know what it is. It's not something I worry about too much. Um, but that helps. But we're not able to farm humanity yet, so I don't want to use what I have and end up losing it. Um, the depths is where you can farm humanity, so we're almost there. Oh my god, this thing. Wow, really? How, how are you not targeting that guy? Like, how? Okay, I need you. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. We're good, though. So no, no, and no. Okay. Leap. And no, nothing. I am probably gonna have to heal again. Yeah, I might as well heal screw it. That sucks. This guy do his thing. Sometimes they leave, sometimes they don't. I don't you don't ever really know. It's, it's tough, so. Okay, this is nothing. Okay. Um, we got three guys here. So, yeah, the poison. No, nothing there. Okay, um, because that happened, uh, he knocked the guy over there, the, the body, and he dropped aggro. Um, I got poisoned again, but that's okay. We might be okay. So let's run, run, run. Look at this guy. Yeah, don't want to take damage, so it's not worth messing with that guy. Okay, nothing. We want to pull these two guys, or at least one of them. Okay, so he did his thing already. Got him. Nothing, and... I'm going to do that so I don't get taking damage. Okay, so this run gave us nothing. But that is what it is. Okay, so I will pause the video after this. 
I will farm up nine, and then we'll head to our next, um, our next destination so we can finish our goal of getting our sword to plus ten, because that'll make a big difference. If, and if I start putting in points to dex, um, it will make a huge difference in the, our damage will just kind of skyrocket. Because skyrocket compared to what we're doing now. Overall, it still won't be much, but compared to what we're doing now, it'll be absolutely noticeable. We just gotta get there. Yeah, see, at full health, you can make a backer with taking very little damage from the poison. It doesn't really hurt that bad. Okay, guys. Now I will pause the video, and I'll finish following up our, uh, our uh, seven more, I think it is. So I will be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Um, and now we are at the depths. So I got my nine uh, large night night shards. I want to take me take me like 30 to 40 minutes. It was about 11 or 12 runs, so I had about I think three or four where I didn't get one. Uh, surprisingly enough, I got 28 of these green guys. That's five drops of five each. Um, I've gotten nine shards without getting uh, two drops of those before, so I was incredibly lucky on those, uh, which is ironic because I don't need those. Like at all. They're useless to me on this build. Um, they're for like sorcery. They might be for fate too. I'm not sure. I, I know they're for a few things, but this is the one time they're not for me, and I got a whole bunch of them, so oh well. So, what we need is actually right down here. Kill that guy, because these are fire guys, so we gotta be careful. Oh no. Ooh, that was kind of lucky. Uh, you don't want to get hit by that stuff. Leap strike, of course, that's all they want to ever do is leap strike. Okay, one of the, there's a guy around the pillar, I think it's right there. I love how they, like, it's like they, they get irritated that, uh -oh, that something's in front of them and they just smash it. So anyways, um, there's a butcher right there. There's only two of those in the game. There's one right here and one right, right past here. Uh, they're kind of rough. You don't really want to mess with them too much. And then there's a dog down here somewhere right there. So, uh, oh, here we aggroed, I think. That's weird. I was Oh, did you try to hit me? So there is a uh, chest right there. That's what we're going for. That's our goal right there. So let's go see if we can get this chest. Yep. I heard this dog. One shot. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, see? That was almost no damage at all. So as you can see, this guy... Really? He beat me with that? That's frustrating. He dropped a sack. I think one of them do. Okay. Yeah, see, as you can see, that guy was pretty tanky. So let's let this dog hit me first. He's gonna do this to me. Suck it. Okay, so we want to open this up. And there's our large ember. That That is what we need to move on. So we're gonna homeward bone back. Seven of these guys. That's still pretty good. This is back here, because this is the last place that I rested. I'll rest in the doesn't matter. Uh, if I would have bought the weaponsmithing box, which no, I did not, um, I could do it right here at the bonfire, or any bonfire for that matter. But I didn't, so oh well. Um, and speaking of, that's Rhea over there. We'll talk to her real quick. She has her own quest line. Uh, you, on, you, need no time to, you, must. you can talk to her a few times. Did I not explain you? Who are you? So by the looks of you. I'll keep talking to her because it's funny. Did I not explain? Who are you by the looks of? You? Maybe not. Maybe that's the end of it. Anyways, I think she does like like Kindle's bonfires. I believe I can't remember off the top of my head, but 
They're going into the catacombs. Actually, they're going into the Tomb of the Giants, which is past the catacombs, to go do some stuff. And there's a whole oh, kind of storyline with that. So was... I see this guy will send me the heals. Oh, I kind of want to buy... Um, I'm going to buy the heal for 4Gs and uh, the great heal for 10,000. That seems fine. Come again. Be effective. Um, we might use those because they make a big difference. Uh, that means I need 14 faith, and right now I have 11. So if I put in... Wait, is that what it takes? That's it? 12. Yeah, okay. So if I put three levels into faith, I can use two different heals. Um, I only have one... Or do I have any attunement slots, actually? I, I don't know if I have any attunement. Yeah, I have one. Um, there's a stat called Attunement, which you, uh, I was looking at right now. Uh, you leveled up like a normal skill in every two or three or four or five levels, depending on how high you are. Um, it will give you another spell slot, basically. Right now, I only have one. So if you look at uh, the bottom left of my screen, where you have my what, my uh, Uchigatana, my, my shield, and my Essence Flask, you'll notice the very top thing is blank. That's where your spells go. I don't have any spells that I can use, because I don't have... Uh, really any points in the sorcery or faith so it's blank but if you were to be a spellcaster which we are going to probably do a heal uh, we'll fill that up here pretty soon but for now we want to um, do this so let's get this going first so he wants the large ember and then now we're going to uh, modify equipment. We want to make this a plus six. Then you go back down to reinforce weapon. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so to make it a plus 11, you need the very large ember, which is in New Londo Ruins, which was that place we passed through to get to the Valley of the Drakes. It's where the bottom of the elevator. Um, we're nowhere near getting that far. So I don't even want to worry about that. We, we might be able to do it, potentially, but uh, I don't even want to deal with that. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I want, no, I don't I want to talk. Let me... Buy... We're going to buy that. We don't really need this, but we'll buy it anyways. Um, I kind of... Man, I really don't need a bow. That's one thing I don't have the bow. Yeah, I don't have a bow, do I? I have crossbows. Okay, I'm going to have to get myself a bow. Even just a normal standard bow is, is really good to have. Because bows in this game skill off the decks, which is what we're building. There is a dragon rider bow that skills off the strength, but you don't get that until way later in the game. Um, so, anyways, since we want to go back down to the depths, we're going to head... Oh, man, I want to kill something right now, though. You know what, let me go outside and kill a few things. I want to test this out. So this guy now is... It's a, it's still a B. It's still a B. But the damage went up a lot. So I just kind of want to test... Oh, wait, hold on. Where am I going? The enemies I want to fight are up here. I kind of want to test this real quick and see what the damage is on it. Because um, we're going to have a plus 10 for a long, long time. Um, we're going to go through all the rest of the early game and all the mid game before we can finally... Start making a plus 11. So that does 222. Okay, see, now we're one shotting these guys. That's how much stronger this is now. So now we're just one shotting stuff. Let's go fight one of those Baller Knights real quick. I'm going to stab him and see how much damage it does. That is nuts. I'm gonna go fight this other ball tonight. Just because I can. I'm gonna slash at him though and see how much damage I do. Ow. Don't do that. One shot. Wow. Tiny shard! 
Actually, we could technically still use those. Um, we can level up our... Not level up, but we can uh, reinforce our armor uh, that we can't use yet. Uh, when we get a bow, we're going to want to make that a plus 15 eventually. So... You know, we can still use those for now. Um, so I think we're going to call this. Um, so on uh, the next video, we're going to go back to the depths and actually finish the depths. Because we can get through the whole thing now. There's no other prep work that we need to do. As a matter of fact, there really isn't any prep work period that we need to do. There's one more farming area I can show you guys, and it's for farming humanity. Um, so you make make sure you have enough if you want to summon people. Because the bosses are going to start getting really hard. Um, so having a lot of humanity is, is, uh, is nice. I'm going to level up real quick. Man, you know what I don't have? Oh, wait, no, yeah, I do. I think I do. Yeah, we got Talisman. Cool. Okay. So, I technically could throw, like... What does this thing use again? That's level 12. We're level 11. So, if I threw one... How many levels can I do on this? Wow. Let's do that. I'm going to try to get my dex up a little bit more. To 20. Okay, so we can use the big heal now. We would need to put our attunement up. Ah, uh, like maybe one or two or three more levels to get a second attunement slot. So now what you do is you go to Tune Magic. Click on that and we'll take Great Heal. And pop that guy down right there. And now we have the heal. And so we, if we add our Talisman in, say right here for example, we can switch to our Talisman. Um, I wonder if I can fall off something and take a bunch of damage and see how much this thing heals for. I don't know if I can get high enough without having to take the elevator. Uh, that was not enough. Maybe I'll let something damage me or something, but um, I'm wondering if... I want to drop, like, down there. Uh, that might kill me right there. Yeah, that would probably kill me. Oh, that still wasn't a whole lot. Jesus. Alright, I got one more. Let me try one more time. Hopefully I don't die from this. Drop off of this and see what happens. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well, there's, a, there's some fire bombs. Okay, well, that didn't do what I wanted it to. Um, there's Griggs. Oh, hello. I regret at least consider you're clearly talented. Of course, we. Sure. Splendid. I am well. That just means he's going to sell me some uh, sorceries. Um, you have to have a certain uh, intelligence requirement, like like a 10 or something to build for him to sell. Otherwise, he won't sell you anything. That's probably fine. Okay, so my SS class heals almost all of that. This would heal. Um, there we go. Wrong button. All of it, but I only get one. I only get one heal though. So that gives me an extra heal if I want to do that. Or I could use. That guy and get five. I can get five normal heals or one big heal, so I think I'm going to use the five for now. Yeah, I get five heals, so that seems like the better idea. We'll see how much this does, and then I will call it. But anyways, yeah, uh, if you guys are playing and you're having trouble, 
Um, picking up a few points of faith and grabbing one of these heals is not a bad idea. It, it's literally just an extra heal, is all it is. So, if your Estra's Flask... Oops, what am I, what am I blocking for? If your Estra's Flask just isn't quite cutting it, you're, you notice you're running dry a lot. Um, grabbing extra heals, it, it helps a lot. Um, in this game, that's about the only way you're going to get another heal. Uh, in the other games, they do have consumable. At least I, I know in two there's consumables. Okay, so this guy does what? Wow, that's almost not like a full, full heal, but I mean, that's still pretty good, and I got five of those. So that basically gives me ten heals without uh, using the other bonfire. So that's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, that's my tips for you is um, farm up some, some souls, buy yourself some uh, Titanite Shards, get your weapon plus five, run down to the Blight Town, get yourself some large Titanite Shards, you need nine of them, uh, go down to the depths, grab your large ember, that'll give you a plus ten weapon, as you can see the damage is much, much better, uh, put a few points into faith, get, get at least the, the small heal, and then now you have an extra five heals, so... Little things like that will give you a little bit of an edge if you're having problems. And if you're not, well, then it's up to you. So anyways, uh, I th I'm going to call it a night. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.